five years after marriage no child very soon your family will call you and say look there is a man he's not exactly bad there's just something that we're used to it it all of us that's how you even came self and yet in your visions the interesting thing is that while satan is doing all this nonsense you will go back to bed and see that god will not change what he has been saying your womb will carry a prophet be careful be careful be careful and all kinds of suggestions are coming from everywhere satan is building that image my brothers and my sisters let me tell you this many times you feel stupid when you look around and it looks like you are not moving forward sometimes respectfully speaking loved ones and people who are sincere can look at you and say look at this you graduated 20 years ago till now you have not even built a house the only thing growing in your life is your age look at your classmate he's even in dubai he's everywhere there and sometimes you say lord is this your plan for me when jesus was on that cross you would have called him defeated but something was happening that you did not see he hung between the nails and while he was hanging caesar herod and co were saying finally and satan was rejoicing since you will not bow i will hang you on a tree either ways you will have to listen to me and he closed his eyes in death hell was rejoicing we killed the son of god suddenly a stranger steps into hades the place of the dead what are you doing here and he says when sinners die where do they go i became sin now i'm here and the cohorts of hell were all on him how else would he tell us that he is victorious until we we have to see it in a context and that was the context satan and the cohorts of hell paul was shown this in a revelation fighting to force him now to bow down and when the legal claims of justice were made the bible says he made a public show of them watch this triumphing over them in judgment he now meets face to face with the one he created and say lucifer your rebellion give me the keys this is the kingdom we are part of revelation chapter one i was he that was dead and now is alive and i have the keys that's where he got it from watch this when he held that key he went to hades apostle peter taught us he preached to the saints right who had been waiting for this miracle of salvation they died in faith believing and when they believed he opened those prisons and he said let's go the hymn writer says up from the grave he arose when he came out he came out together with all those people watch this now the last enemy to be destroyed is death and he destroyed death and with power and glory the disciples were shaking you wasted our time we were part of this system now you brought a new kingdom we've lost everything we look like failures but when he resurrected he said all hail he entered the room without opening the door he's showing you the potentials of this kingdom that means look i used to think doors have to open for you to enter but i learned that there is still a way the door can still be closed and you will enter all hail he said all authority in heaven and on earth is given to me i know you look like failures for walking with me for three and a half years but you are about to see the power in this kingdom go with this authority Go and disciple nations, teach them 
everything I've taught you. Teach them that somewhere in their life, they may see a similitude of defeat, but they should wait. Teach them everything I taught you. And while you teach them, I am with you. I will confirm your words with signs. Confirm your words with miracles. Hear me. Every time evil seems to prevail over good, something is happening. That is true for this nation. That is true for Africa. Can I tell you this? Our beloved country and our beloved continent. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. In the midst of the decadence, I tell you. I'm telling you by prophecy and from scripture it will not end the way you are seeing it like this no see Jesus is not coming back as king of a weak beaten defeated church the kingdom that we serve for a long time it looks like it's a shame to be a child of God but I tell you we're about to enter an era of the apostolic move of God upon the earth economically politically this nation will experience something that it has never seen from independence i tell you this by the spirit of god listen where death ends is also where resurrection starts for now it does not yet appear what god is doing in your life sometimes as we preach the gospel as servants of the living god People even look at us as a nuisance to civilization. What are you teaching? Calm down. You may not see it yet, but something is happening. From the spirit of God, through our spirit, to your spirit man and your mind. When Satan wanted to propagate this demonic software of Babylon, it is a spirit, then belief systems, then destruction. Now that God is bringing deliverance, it comes from the spirit through a new belief system. It takes a while. You may not look like it, oh politician, but God saved you from winning that election because there is one you are going to. Let me show you something. We have read the end of the book. We know what will happen. Hmm. Revelations 18. I know you look cheated. I know you look defeated. Brothers and sisters, look at me. Let me show you how Babylon will end. The Bible already told us the end. After these things, I saw another angel come from heaven having great power and the earth was lightened with his glory what an angel next verse and he cried mightily with a strong voice saying babylon the great is falling is falling and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit now follow carefully i want to show you something and then we'll pray for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication so babylon is a goddess she sits upon a horse until you fraternize with her you will not reign in this kingdom she has called politicians she has called men of god she has called business people you want to rise it is not the way it's not just about this school thing <clears throat> come let us get into a partnership there are many people today that you continue to admire. Let me tell you the truth. Their excelling is based on their fraternity with Babylon. Let me show you the end of the story. It says, The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants, businessmen, 
there it is the merchants of the earth are wax rich how through the abundance of her delicacy then i heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her this is the word for you now you are almost getting there but come out of her my people why that ye be not partakers of her sins that ye that ye receive not of her plagues there is a plague that is coming on the earth for her sins have reached unto heaven and god had remembered her iniquity be patient watch this it says reward her even as she rewarded you and double her according to this and that and that next verse it says how much she has glorified herself the pride of this antichrist system called babylon and live deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart i sit a queen and i am no widow and i shall see no sorrow this is babylon talking therefore shall her plagues come in how long death mourning famine she shall be utterly burnt with fire for strong is the lord who judged her watch this and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas that great city babylon that mighty city in one hour is your judgment come now watch this let me show you it says the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn for her and no man buyeth her merchandise anymore there are people buying it now they are buying let me show you what she sells do you want to see what she sells babylon let's see what babylon sells number one the merchandise of gold the merchandise of silver precious stones pearls fine linen purple silk scarlet cayenne wood all manner of vessels of ivory all manner of precious wood of brass of iron of marble pay attention to 13 cinnamon odors she sells anointing she sells frankincense she sells wine she sells all kinds of graces she sells abundance she sells wheat let's start reading now she sells beasts she sells sheep. she sells horses she even sells chariots let's what else does she sell slaves and what all they are her products she can give you influence the souls of men as an artist you can get into fraternity with her and sing anything and the world must listen to you because she has sold you the souls of men where did she get those souls the ones who came to do business with her what shall it profit a man if he gains so as she's giving you there's something she collects and sells it to whoever wants now here's what the bible says i it says that you prosper is that true and be in health but make sure your soul does not become the commodity that goes in exchange i can tell you there are people who have sold their souls to the devil not by saying satan take no the more you leave god as you rise there is an exchange that is happening the more your fame increases and your fire goes down business people hear me respectfully speaking because it, this money thing sometimes brings a lot of arrogance one people have money i'm a billionaire i'm a millionaire whether in naira or dollars or whatever currency usually that state deafens people and they don't listen to anything again i am rich the mistake of i think the laodicean church they said i am rich i have no need for anything anything that would take your place in my life may it never come any door that would take your place in my life may it never open why have i taught you this today number one to help you see the motivation behind the evil in our society it is not a sociological issue 
it is not just an educational issue in truth from a sociological standpoint when we start addressing the ills in society we look at indices like education quality of living governance and the rest and we are right but that is the reason why our law courts will continually prosecute criminals because there is a software they go to prison they come out they return back they come out they return back they come out they return back because their bodies are messless executors of a mindset that only the gospel can erode the gospel in its entirety the message and the value system respectfully speaking and not not to create any sense with with every sense of honor and respect it is also the reason why families do not last it is statistic tells us i hope i'm right that one out of every two marriages may not last long and will end it doesn't mean the people are wrong it is that somebody somewhere or both of them have exposed themselves to a programming that is not consistent with the kingdom is there a way to prosper with the dignity of kingdom integrity yes what is the solution it is called the gospel now you know that the gospel is not only a message that saves you have received the message that saves now receive the ideology that transforms the ideology that transforms you the ideology that transforms your society you can take that ideology like a software program it to your children if you never see them again you can trust what they will become the software is that powerful This is why we have to pray that God will raise people who are connected to kingdom first. Then we now spread them across the seven strata of human activities. A politician that is not just a Christian fanatic, but one who understands the kingdom will be in a better position to legislate because number one, he knows that God is the God of all flesh. He's not in that office to represent Christians. He's in that office to represent God's creation. So his ideas, even though referenced from scripture, will be communicated in a way and a manner that makes all and sundry to advance in their lives. Fanatism is not an honor to any religion concerned. It is still a deception by Satan because it punishes all involved. Fanatism and religion does not profit one party or the other. It looks like it profits one party. But when the full scope of the deception is unleashed, everyone involved suffers. Can I tell you this? When God sent me to this city, one of the graces and one of the instructions and one of the things that he gave is that by the grace of God, God wants to raise a people who are kingdom people, but people of influence. He will station them in strategic positions, but they will not just be people who are going around to earn a living. They are people who know that they are there on assignment. This is why he gave us the grace. I'm not a politician. I don't do politics. I don't do partisan politics. I'm a man of God. But let me submit to you. God has given us the authority that enthrones kings and removes them. It is true. What is our assignment tonight? Understand. Go back home now and see your child who is always stealing. It is not the stealing. You can flog that child till tomorrow. Go back as a priest, not just a father. Call that child and say in addition to what you are going to receive the spirit that is behind you in the name of jesus christ are you seeing that now go back as a politician and enter your office stretch your hands over the national assembly and say in the name of jesus i stand not just as a an honorable member or a senator i stand with priesthood and i speak let the kingdom come within this fair as a business person don't just resume work tomorrow no everyone who is coming is is in one of two kingdoms you are not just there to buy and sell listen 
we must develop a new value system let me encourage all of you who own schools here i know there are a number of people here that own schools within this city and across this nation i beseech you by the mercy of god without any sense of fanatism introduce programs that correct destructive beliefs there are programs it doesn't matter whether people write it in the exam or not let there be programs that help people honesty morality and conscience spiritual growth leadership financial intelligence introduce this so that the children from infancy will begin to learn ethics of responsibility and they grow to become people who will change society and i pray that in the name of jesus god will empower people here i know that god has helped people but god will empower people that will set up quality leadership institutes that a day will come is out of those institutes who enthrone kings within territories merely saying one day you know a society will change is just a joke there must be programs and there must be intelligence applied to it have i wasted your time tonight the seven mountains religion god is helping us we who are the servants of god the mountain of family this is one area that god has raised marvelous vessels like pastor kingsley oh yes oh yes you cannot tell how many homes and how many lives have been put back in order because he honored that grace what of politics there are several politicians here god is counting on you not just to be a fanatic but to be a nation builder to come up with perspectives that are referenced from scripture that your presence there will ward off darkness you can be an apostle in politics then media arts and entertainment we've discussed it here can i tell you this my brothers and my sisters when we talk about the revival that is coming we're not necessarily just talking about crusades alone the context of the move of God coming will not just be spiritual in that area alone. Civilization has evolved. God will have to bring people with intelligence. We're already there at the crusade grounds. Everybody will not be there. We will keep casting the devils and healing the sick. But in addition, we'll keep helping people who will rise. Everybody here is connected to a family somehow. Go back and begin to change that software be intentional you are a father don't sit down and allow your children to learn anything and grow and just give them money and cash that's not an inheritance you are a politician make up your mind don't just leave and exhaust your tenure start mentoring others not just godfatherism mentorship teach them the ethics of governance you are a businessman don't just as we call it in nigeria the slang chop alone and don't just give people money that's not the only thing they need most people don't need money most people need a transformed mind create a platform of four or five people and help them the value of influence is that you are able to lift others with that platform god gives you i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day he leaves you with an assurance that the night cometh when no man will be able to walk again but i tell you this god has brought us to such a time as this we must stand up and fight babylon we do not just fight with bows and spheres alone number one we fight by introducing the gospel to the system first as a message the more people are saved the more god can find many men that he can use to promote his agenda number two we must bring the ideology of the kingdom we must translate the ideology of the kingdom into programs including sociological programs that the world can receive many of them will not receive it from a standpoint of fanatism it must not be a christian's program it must come a value system reference from scripture that is intentional about changing people three things you should never fight as i round up number one do not fight the value of spiritual connection you will lose in today's world the strength of every man is in his spiritual connection number two do not fight any opportunity to learn leadership 
leadership has nothing to do with titles you must know how influence is produced it is the key to making men buy into your ideologies number three do not fight relationships be fruitful means re be relational everything multiplies because of relationship it is based on your relationship with the holy spirit that you grow number four do not fight economy please do not fight economy do not fight economy don't go around saying all these people preaching prosperity be careful i know there are imbalances but don't join the devil in in misleading believers a territory that is not economically empowered will be the territory that serves there is a dimension of the gospel that requires economic empowerment and i know that god is going to raise people i'm unashamed about it your heart must not be there your heart will be with jesus and then he will give you resources that are equivalent to the resources of a nation and you will do wonders as for me i made a vow and a covenant with god that as a spiritual leader i will not just lead a people who are passionate towards god signs and wonders miracles that's wonderful but in addition to that i believe in influence and then inculcating value systems that can transform society abuja and this nation and this continent is too small if god can find people enough who are connected spiritually understand leadership people who understand this kingdom networking and then people who are economically empowered this will be satan's nightmare this will also be the nightmare of the antichrist system are you ready to pray father let your kingdom come lift your voice and pray let your kingdom come let your kingdom come palosa da brende gebalako shabradiska debe hasiata let your kingdom come in the name of jesus christ now we understand the motivation behind the ills in our lives ills in our society ills in family that more than just the things that happen more than crime and decadence and cultism and corruption there is a spiritual problem that must be addressed the spiritual problem number one is rejecting jesus and rejecting his value system and that has come because of a programming a mindset fortified by demon spirits called the antichrist system is a babylonian strategy Babylon, babylonian here means it is a spiritual context lift your voice and pray we are that generation that will not bow in the name of jesus yet we will rise we will excel and represent the purposes of the kingdom because of our presence in this city advancement of all sorts will find expression because of our presence in this nation in governance in politics go ahead and pray we decree and declare in the name of jesus the christ of god it may take time but we submit to the training it may take time but we submit ourselves to the dealing this apostolic and prophetic order of kingdom advance are you praying hallelujah now please listen it is because of the existence of this system that he gave us power over and power against it will take more than just advice it will take more than words to subdue this demonic influence that has followed families and has followed individuals the last prayer and we're done father the level of grace i need for this season grant it unto me the level of grace that is required that in and through my life the powers of darkness are dislodged from the life of my children from the life of my husband from the life of my wife my business in the name of jesus i obtain that engracing go ahead and pray it takes power this is a kingdom of power demonic forces are real oppressions of darkness are real you don't just need power to solve spiritual problems you need power to solve political problems you need power to solve economic problems you need power to solve family problems you need power to solve sociological problems to solve employment unemployment problems 
Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hallelujah. Please don't miss next week. I'm going to be sharing something very. I after the miracle service. I'll be sharing something powerful the next series that we're getting into we're going to be dealing with the kingdom and God is going to be showing us a lot of things you will see the predictability of territorial transformation that it is not very difficult to transform a territory it looks hard only because of the complication of the men that the men that are there as many as there are students in different universities you can predict the graduation of the students you can predict that medicine whether it's in um um, um abu or unilag or or whatever university because there is a common program someone in lagos does not have to come down to university of abuja to be a graduate of medicine once he has the program there right from where he is he can change it's not whether people are living in Abuja or Lagos, wherever. Once we can find the content methodically arranged that transform people, everybody, it doesn't matter what church you now go to. I'm praying that you will get to that time where you don't have to go to specific churches to know you are secured. That at, at least a, any major church you can sit down and know like a university that I'm still safe there. That two people from different churches can talk kingdom and know that it was the same curriculum that was used to build us. God's idea is not to have everybody follow one man of God. No. Mm -mm. He will not get the job done. He may show that the individual is successful, but the job will not be done. God's idea is to see that his value system is represented everywhere so that believers don't have to go too far to find him everywhere from family you find it there business you find it everywhere you can find his value system i pray for you in the name of jesus that these truths you have learned let it speak over your life this week in the name of jesus christ I see the Lord, I see the Lord, exalted high above the worship of the people of the earth. I see the Lord, I see the Lord, for my eyes have seen the King. It's the Lamb upon the throne who reigns forever. I have seen the power of God in my life as I travel from region to region. You would think that after many years of seeing the power of God, you would get used to it. The power of God is like breathing. You've been breathing from the day you were born and yet you never get used to it. It is new. It is spectacular with every scene. I have seen God lift people. I have seen God turn lives around. But I still stand amazed at what the power of God can do. I assure you by the God of heaven that this God we serve is powerful. That's why I sang the song that I sang yesterday. That I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And found that Babuani Kamaruka. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And found that. Listen, have you seen the way God lifts? Ask Esther. Have you seen the way God heals? Ask the man who was born blind and the one who had been 38 years. Have you seen the way God restores? 
ask Job in the Bible. Have you seen the way God prospers? Ask Abraham. Have you seen the way God is able to wipe the tears of people? Ask Elizabeth. Ask Hannah. Have you seen the way God is able to restore joy to a family? Ask the widow at name. All the men in her life went and the last one was about to go. But when she met him, he said, no, not so. Let's return back and brought life. This is the God that we are talking about. Listen, you may be seated here saying, Apostle, you don't know the kind of family I'm coming from. Listen, I present to you this one who is fearfully mighty. When he arises from his throne on your behalf, woe betides the force that stands in between you and his love. We are going to pray. I will be praying over your requests and I will be speaking over your life. Lend me a minute or two and let me teach you a formula for receiving from the anointing and from receiving from God. The Bible mandates according to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. It says that everybody who comes to God must number one, come believing that he is, he exists. He exists you can come to God doubting and hoping is he real he says that you must believe that he exists and then number two you must believe that he's a rewarder it's not just what he does it is his name he's a rewarder he is that benevolent that he will never call the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain if he calls you then he's ready to reward. I'm seeing a smoke of his presence here. And listen, the Lord is telling me, we're going to pray shortly, that there is a grace for speed. Listen, and when I begin to pray and I release that word, please ushers, help those under the anointing because people will start running. You will be amazed. They are not doing it on their own. And I want you to bring them out. It's a grace. God can shift a man from where you are. He can take 10 years and put it in one year. And the Lord has spoken to me that he's releasing the grace for speed. I stretch my hands. May that grace right now. I'm seeing the number 35. Upon 35 people. That anointing and that grace is coming. Let that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace. Speed, bring them out. By the Spirit of the living God. Please bring them out. Such an anointing for speed. You will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen to your life. Speed in life and destiny. Speed in ministry. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. While you bring them out, let me teach you something before I wrap up what I'm saying. You see, the, the zenith of dominion in this kingdom is dominion over time. Dominion over things is wonderful. But when you have dominion over time, my God, I'm seeing this anointing fall. I'm seeing the number 35. On 35 people. That means embargoes of delay. There are many of you, nothing is growing in your life except your age. The only thing growing and increasing in your life is your age. But this mantle is resting upon you now. Wherever you are, whether you are inside or outside. Receive that grace right now. Even by the Spirit of God speed coming upon you in ministry in destiny now pay attention the bible says everyone who must come to god must come believing that number one he exists and number two he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him receiving 
a miracle from God, listen carefully. It mandates that there are two principal conditions that must be met. Number one, you must believe in the God of heaven as Father, Abba, the source, the sustainer, and the giver of every good thing. Number two, you must believe in the vessel who becomes the expression of his power. That when you believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. But that you believe in his servants, his prophets, and you prosper. You can believe in God and not believe in the vessel he's using. You will not receive anything. You need to believe in the God of heaven who is the giver of all things. And then you must believe in his prophets. I believe that God sent me here to this city and even this morning at this miracle service because someone's life is about to change in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands in one minute and ask the Lord to touch you in a way that will bring glory to his name some of you over your health some of you over your finances go ahead and pray in one minute I want to begin to minister to you now Mighty God. Holy. Holy. Go ahead and pray. Are you Lord God? Almighty, well, he is the man. You are holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As I raised this song, I just saw like light just going towards the minister session I just saw like light and I don't know who but there is there is I'm seeing at least three men of God the Lord is saying I saw this same thing when I was ministering in Joss ministering in Joss that a season is coming to an end and another season is beginning this is what I saw I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I release you by the power of God step into that new season help them please step into that new season even by the spirit of the living God step into that new season in the name of Jesus Christ Now, the Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Please hear me. I want to rebuke every spirit that is standing the way of your blessing. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And at the shout of that name, every spirit that is not of the Christ must give way. Are you ready now? One, two, Three, shout Jesus. I command every spirit, every devil of darkness, give way now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I bring deliverance to families. I bring deliverance to destinies. Be set free now. Every planting that is not by God, it gives way by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I command every spirit and every yoke give way now in the name of Jesus Christ bring them out goodness my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming. My 
I believe that he is standing by. I'm still praying. The Lord is showing me. The Lord is showing me families here where it looks like only one or two people get to rise out of those families and just when they're about to settle they just crash down i'm praying right now i don't know who is a victim of this shake up right now i stretch my hands may that fire from heaven rest upon you right now i break that chain right now help them please i break that chain right now I break that chain right now limitations over families be broken in the name of Jesus limitations be broken in the name of Jesus hallelujah Who is by the name Rachel? I'm hearing the name Rachel. I want to pray for the sick shortly, but just to minister to one or two people. I'm hearing a name Rachel. The Lord wants to visit that family in a very mighty way. Who is Rachel? Please make sure you verify. Don't just come out carelessly. Rachel. Madam, point this woman wearing green. That woman, what is your name? Come, you are the one I'm talking about. I will pray for you, but please help somebody help me verify. I don't know who that's for. Mama, okay. What is her name? What is your name, madam? Okay. I want to pray for you. What's your name, ma? Rachel. Your name is Rachel. The Lord wants to bring salvation to your family. You believe that? I will pray for you. Mama, please look at me. God wants to take something out of your body. Huh? Is that true? There is something God wants to remove from your body. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't remove the... I didn't even know she was wearing... In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now. Salvation comes to your household by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And I use you as a point of contact for every other person standing in as Rachel... In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Is there somebody called Yakubu? I'm hearing a name, Yakubu. Yakubu. Please, if it's not your name, don't come out so that we save time. It's a brief session, the miracle service. Yakubu. Is there someone like that? You are wearing like a monkey jacket or something like that. Yakubu. What's your name? Yakubu. From where? From Kaduna. The Lord is showing me someone. Please don't be offended. I'm not trying to get you emotional. Your loved one right now as I'm talking is part of some people that they kidnapped. Who is that? Like, I think they were on the road or so and they kidnapped them. There's somebody like that we need to pray is there is there someone like that the lord is just revealing this to me not not within gombe here but you have a loved one is part of those they are trusting god for right now to even raise some money to be able to set them free we want to pray so that god will preserve them my friend what do you do i'm a teacher you're a teacher i want to pray for you what did you study mathematics huh mathematics In the name of Jesus, I'm not seeing you stand long doing teaching at all. I'm seeing God lift you. In fact, not even in this city. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit may the Lord honor you honor you and bring miracles to your life in the name of Jesus Christ honor you and bring miracles to your life in the name of Jesus Christ now we are going to pray for the sick I believe in the healing power of Jesus please all the prayer requests you can collate them and just bring them to the front now all of you who are trusting God for healing wherever you are inside or outside I believe in miracles lay your hands make contact with any part of your body I want to pray for you you don't have to come out just where you are lay your hands I want to pray for you what's that? Huh? along the road to um, Benue they kidnapped them they kidnap him who is that brother. your brother yes how long and um, it's last day uh, last day is he still there no he spent about two getting to three months is he back now that's what i'm saying no 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 the one i'm talking about is still there may god preserve your family in jesus name but when you find somebody i'm somebody a loved one i'm just walking based on what god has revealed to me hallelujah so lay your hands i want to pray for you right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and i want you to believe in the power of this prayer the lord is going to bring you healing right now i hear the chains falling I hear the chains In the name of Jesus Christ Shout a loud Amen Gombe In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ Right now I decree and declare Every spirit that is back of any infirmity here by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare right now I command that spirit let God's people go now out of their lives out of their bodies now out of their lives out of their bodies now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I declare be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ migraine headache be healed in Jesus name peptic ulcer be healed in Jesus name every blind eyes be open now in Jesus name deaf ears be open now in Jesus name everyone having any bone condition in the name of Jesus whether you're on crutches you're in a wheelchair bone conditions be healed in the name of Jesus every problem with your spine I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed in Jesus name every growth in your body I command that growth to give way now in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed now high blood pressure be healed now HIV be healed now cancers and tumors be healed now recurrent migraine headache it comes and goes it comes and goes be healed now urinary problems i'm seeing somebody you have a problem frequent urination in the name of jesus i declare be healed now there's someone you are not blind 
but you are beginning to have a problem with your eyes you see like scales on your eyes it's as if you are seeing a vision but it's physical you are seeing lines and like scales in the name of jesus i declare be healed now there's someone i don't know it's like you have something on your toe it's like a fungal infection but it has refused to heal in the name of jesus i am praying for you right now let the power of god touch you right where you are make sure you are receiving i'm going to ask you to check yourself shortly and then we'll have a few testimonies here before we pray over the requests there's someone you have is like pile but this is a very severe in fact it's, it's an issue that most likely may require surgery because with what i'm seeing um is is quite an advanced stage of pile right now the power of god is touching you heart palpitations you have a problem breathing sometimes it's as if you are gasping for breath i declare in the name of jesus be healed now is it i don't know if it's a boil or a swelling inside or around your armpit the power of god is touching you right now supernatural healing for you in the name of jesus christ now whether i mention your case or not by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me someone just your left the left side of the, your left leg just right here i'm seeing that it's like your kneecap there's something wrong with it you are not able to walk well the moment i ask you to start doing what you could not do take a step of faith you will find out that the healing power of god has touched you in the name of jesus christ there is someone you are beginning to have a severe case of partial stroke if you came here on crutches or probably a wheelchair i want you to take a step of faith lift it up and try walking whatever it is don't force them sir walk lift it where's his crutch turn back and walk lift it up every other person with a crutch lift it up and walk whether i stick any walking aid lift it up and walk in the name of jesus christ are you celebrating miracles lift it up and walk don't force them please don't force anyone once there's no strength just allow them but in the name of jesus i declare there's someone your left eye you could not see well right now you will see that a miracle has happened now begin to check yourself do what you couldn't do do what you couldn't do you couldn't move parts of your body move it right now move it right now move it right now move it right now now here's what i want you to do for me please listen listen everyone check yourself there are miracles happening inside and outside this is what i want you to do for me the moment you find out that you have received a miracle something you could not do the power of god has touched you i want you to come out just come and stand here at my left where laura is and then some of you you may want to stand just where the stage is there there will be pastors to check you and will take the testimonies those outside inside right now i want you to check yourself the moment you find out that the healing power of god has touched you something that you couldn't do you couldn't see now you can see you couldn't hear you couldn't smell whatever miracles celebrate them as they go move either to my left or right please whether they are coming from outside once they have been healed ushers clear the way for them let's celebrate miracles god is touching people here creator of the universe what can you do what can you do keep coming jesus creator of sin what can't you 
you change? What can't you change in Jesus? You are able, great and mighty. You are able, Jesus. What? It's like there's a miracle at the back there. You are able. Check yourself, my God. Are you celebrating what God is doing? You couldn't bend, try to bend now. You couldn't lift your leg. Celebrate what Jesus is doing. We'll take a few testimonies, whether by my left or right, outside, anywhere. Ushers, pastors, just help us coordinate these people and let's celebrate what God is doing in our midst. There's someone you're I'm literally feeling that pain on my right ear. It's like you don't hear well or so, or you don't hear at all with your right ear. In the name of Jesus, I'm declaring, may that ear open right now. May that ear open right now. May that ear open right now. Can we take a few testimonies? Now, okay. While we take the testimonies, I'm seeing all of these miracles. Now, please hear me. Look up, please. Make sure you don't, don't, when people are healed, they are healed. Don't put anyone under pressure. Are we together? When you lift them and it looks like they have no strength, just keep them there and make sure that you only bring out people who have been healed and touched by the power of God. We're not, we're not stage managing anything here. My friend, what happened to you? I'm looking at this man's leg. What happened to you? My eyes just went to his. He just come like this. I don't know what is happening. You can't walk. Yes. How long has this been? It's taking to two years to. Let me see how you walk. Ah, that's serious. Look at. Please help us under the anointing outside. The name of Jesus. I decree and declare may the power of God touch you in Jesus name now you see when we pray like this when you are on a wheelchair or you are on crutches watch this now what you are supposed to do is try to take a step of faith when you find out that there's pain or you are not relieved you can always calm down while you continue to release your faith right so that you don't leave people worse than you met them no is, is, is wrong for you to the power of God most to touch people at various levels so those who are helping them make sure you don't inconvenience them and put them like this man once you are healed you can see that you can do what you could not do as clear as simple as that are we together now praise God okay let's take a few testimonies to celebrate what God has done yes please this lady came here yesterday that there is a moving object in her stomach moving her object yes, how long my dear Three years. What happens to you? Three years. I was, since I got married, I start calling. Are there some other people outside? Okay. I just needed to know if perhaps those who came from outside. You can still join them. The power of God has touched you. Even if we are not able to exhaust all the testimonies now, you can still testify your various churches. The most important thing is what Jesus did. Go ahead. Can you help us with the sound? Sound people? Okay. Praise the Lord. When I, when I came here yesterday, man of God said, some will receive their healings today. Before when I lie down on my tongue, I feel as if something is moving on my tongue. And right now, what happened? Yesterday, when I even go back yesterday, I lie down on my tongue, I couldn't feel it. Today, Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, may it never return to you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Next person, please. Sir, you made mention of fungal infection. On yes. The this is the man. Yes. And How the long? Lady, and the lady too. And the lady. It's more than eight years now. More than eight years. What is it like? Um, the, the little finger on my toes, there is a growth in between 
the last one and the one that is following. So whenever I put on any shoe, once the two compress together, I'll be feeling serious pain. Check it. Any pain I have now? Check it. I have compressed it now. No pain. Okay. Are yes, you celebrating what Jesus is doing? He also had the eyes. The Your eyes. The For how long? It has been long. Very in, long. In the name of Jesus Christ, God who has healed you, perfects everything concerning you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the please. The same fungal infection on her feet, but it has disappeared. She had, um, she had it darkened the toes, her toenails for 17 years. For 17 years. And what happened now? I Nothing is there again. Come on, are you giving Jesus praise? Look at this. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. He talked about palpitations. Palpitations. He Heart palpitations. Yes, sir. For how long? It has been a year now. Breathe in and out. In and out. Any pain? No, sir. Completely. I decree and declare it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. He's the left here, right here. Like you mentioned, the right There ear. is, I just saw, there is a lady, the right, you have a lung, the right side of your breast. I want you to check it now. You will find out that it's gone. I just saw this while, check it now. You'll find out that that devil has left your body once and for all. You find out that that miracle has happened, you can come and testify. Go ahead. Let's have a few more and then, okay, go ahead. So my right ear when you talked about the right ear i don't hear clearly for about five years now with the right ear. which of the ears the right ear, sir. and now what happened now i can hear clearly it's no, open no buzzing noise anymore place your hand the one that had a problem in the name of jesus i declare perfection for you even by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name yes please this brother came with uh, he had an ulcer for more than two years but ulcer after, yes sir but after the prayers it has gone who is here you play football professionally football football professional i'm not saying you just play in the evening when you are you are back from work professionally is there someone like that i just saw that Come, your life is about to change. Who is the person? You are a footballer professionally. What's your name? Huh? Maurice. Maurice. How long have you how, how long have you played football? Five years now. Where are you currently? I'm in Gombe, but I'm not with the Gombe United. I'm with Doma United now. Look at me. Do you believe in the power of God? You believe God can help men? The Lord put it in my heart to pray for you, and I want to pray for you. Listen, there is a grace that enthrones. There is a grace that can lift you right from where you are and take you to the nations of the earth. I stretch my hands and I pray for you that when you get there, you will not forget God. Oh. Say amen. Because many people rise, they get there and once in the presence of glitz and glamour, they just throw everything that is God. It's a caution for everyone too. As God lifts you, the Bible says, Do not say my power and the might of my hand has given me this, but thou shalt remember. If he says thou shalt remember, it means you can forget. Father, I stretch my hands over your dear son. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I release you with this grace. May doors open for you beyond your imagination. Within this nation, and outside this nation may god give your career wings in the spirit in the name of jesus let it be so by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name yes please when i came here in the morning i was feeling pain in my stomach pain uh, yes sir yes as after the prayer i can't feel anything completely gone yes. it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit 
right now. Hold yes, it. sir. She has the pain and swollen. Um, she had a swollen armpit, a swelling in her armpit for like three years. Like for like three years. Yes, sir. And it's gone. And what happened now? It's gone, sir. Completely. Are you celebrating what God is doing? Which of which of the place your hand there in the name of Jesus Christ? I decree and declare that pain leaves you now, never to return. In the name of Jesus, and I'm seeing God remove something from your body. I command it to go out now of your body by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, let's take a few more. This this man, I like to hear his testimony. How long have you been on these crutches? Since November last year. What happened to you, sir? I motor accident. Oh dear. May God protect you on the road. May God protect you in the air. May God protect you on water. In the name of Jesus Christ. May no evil come near your dwelling. In the name of Jesus Christ. For this that the Lord has done, we give him all the glory and we declare supernatural perfection. Your miracle remains with you to the glory of the name of the Lord. In Jesus name I pray. Let's see how we can take a few more and then we'll just pray and I speak over your he life. He had yes. difficulties um, swallowing. Swallowing. He just, yes, he said whenever he feels it, he tries to take in water to just push. And but right now, he's feeling. Praise God. Straight to the point. Last year in July, what happened is that when that is a place to your hands, wherever you are feeling. Yes. I placed my hand in my throat because I can't even take water up to half one such it. But now, I can drink two such it as right. Did you trust yourself? Yes, I, I trust myself. Man. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. She had palpitations. Palpitations? Yes. There is someone I'm seeing. You see how my hands are shaking? That's how your hands shake. The power of God wants to touch you. I'm seeing someone like that. I don't know who, but the, the same way you see my hands shake, that's how it's like, I don't know if it's some kind of sickness. Who is that person? The power of God is touching you right now, bringing you healing. We command that demonic thing to leave now. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Help them. This madam too, the power of God is coming on her. I declare healing. I don't know the name of that medical condition, but I command that spirit out of you now. In the name that is above all names. Be made whole right now. In Jesus name. Let's see if we can take three or four more very quickly for sake of time. Some of these are mothers. Let me have one or two from them. I, I want to know sir. what has happened. Pile. Pile. For more than 15 years. My goodness. What happened to you, my dear? It, it, it's more than 15 years. They grow in my private parts, three of them. And it's paining me. Even yesterday that I come, it's paining me very serious. And now I'm not feeling anything. Oh, my God. More than 15 years enduring this kind of pain. In the name that is above all names, I declare perfection for you. That devil lets you go and he will never, never return to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Very quickly. This lady here, that she had a pain for so many years. But she had? For how long, my dear? Who brought her? 20 years? Who brought her? Who is the witness? Who? That her grandmother put something in her stomach. Right? Her grandfather. In the mother. Grandmother put something in her stomach. For a oh very my. long time. For your grandmother put something in your stomach. In stomach. Yes, you see that this, 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 this is the kind of thing that we are saying. Now the grandmother may not be wicked. But it's just that this is, this is why the gospel is important to reach everywhere. Because some of these probably she may have done it in hope to protect her or give some kind of thing every planting that is not of god roaming around your body in the name of jesus christ i declare that it gets out of your body now
can see that this one is not ordinary stomach pain. No. Some of our parents and grandfathers may do certain things sincerely. But then these things will now backfire because... Place your hand there, my dear. You can see how she's even weak. How long has this been? 20 years. For 20 years. Look at me. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Lay your hands there. I command that thing now. Whatever it is. Right now. Out of her. The name of Jesus Christ. Blotting out every handwriting the Bible says. And every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to his cross. I administer the ministry of the blood. And by it we break every legal access that Satan has over your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free right now. I set you free now. My dear, look at me. Look at me. Run. Run. Look at. Look at this. This is someone who could not even sit down there. Look at the ladies crying. 20 years of this demonic captivity. My dear, any pain now? Check it. No, no, no. Any pain? I'm free. The sun sets you free. Indeed, you are free. You see, let me tell you, when something is of a demonic origin, there is no amount of medical attention that will solve it. You would think this lady just has a medical condition. This is a demonic thing. Yes, please. Pile for about three, how many years? Who is that? So she cannot sit down. This mama. Mama? Yes, she cannot sit what down. What happened to you? Five, right from my bed. Right from bed? Yes. Can you imagine a woman this age? It's an inherited pile. Inherited pile. Hold on, please. Hold on. Let's. For, for how long, Mama? 51 years now. Oh my God. And what happened now? Now I'm feeling nothing. <sighs> so it comes to people by inheritance. That's what they told you. Listen, stand up everybody. In the name of Jesus Christ, please receive this prayer. Everything connecting you with enchantments and operations of witchcraft by the blood of the eternal covenant here at this conference be separated from them now. Be separated from them now. Every backlog of demonic inheritance transferred to you as ill health transferred to you help them please as failure in the name of jesus we break it right now please hear me just help those under the anointing you see that most of the problems of people come from some of these Trado, African practices. Now there are healthy practices of morality and respect, but there are demonic practices. Madam, lay your hands. Let me seal that miracle for you. Lay your hands on your stomach as a point of contact. Please look at me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I use you as a point of contact to everyone connected to your family. We break that demonic thing now. After 51 years, Jesus sets you free. And indeed, he has set you free. You remain free forever. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I want us to pray. While I was praying for this woman, I saw a politician in this city moving with a convoy. And I saw a ghastly motor accident. I just saw blood. The Lord is asking me that we pray. I'm not a prophet of doom. When God reveals like this, is because salvation has come. This is not to plan fear. That thing that looks like an ordinary accident is a demonic thing. 
because this same spirit is planted all across the nation to destroy certain people just believe what i'm telling you in the name of jesus christ we declare by the power of the holy spirit whoever is the politician concerned we use some of our politicians here as points of contact may the lord preserve their life in the name of jesus you are preserved from the waster preserved from the scourging tongues of men in the name of jesus christ let's have one or two more then we can quickly pray growth in the breast growth madam how long january january you started sensing the lump It's gone. You've checked it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for you. Right now in Jesus' name. Can we take one more? And my then... green for five years. How long, my dear? Five years, sir. Five years. Sometimes I cannot even attend lectures. I'll be feeling headache if I start. You are a student? Yeah. Where? University of Meduguri. Okay. You can't attend lecture because of it. Sometimes if I wake up, I have to spend like five minutes before I stand. Place your hand on your head. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bring you liberty by the power of God. You are healed now and you remain healed forever. Now for sake of time, I pray for all of you who have come out and others who could not make it out. In the name of Jesus, the healings you have received remain permanent in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ stretch your hands towards me please and begin to pray i'm going to be praying over these requests if you are yet to submit yours please those outside have they submitted their own if you are yet to submit yours just wave your own request and an usher will pick it very quickly and they will bring it here right now i want to pray for you now on to the lamb upon the throne we raise a sound, we raise a sound, for he is God and God alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Please very quickly submit your prayer request so that we begin to pray. Now on to the Lamb upon the throne, we raise a sound. The nations of the earth, Hallelujah. I believe in the God that answers prayers, and I want you to stretch your hands here right now and begin to declare that the Egyptians I see today, I see them no more forever. Go ahead, you just stretch your hands. I will bow my knees to the God of heaven and pray you don't have to kneel i'll do the kneeling for you let it be from the depth of your heart declare that everything i've written here must return as a testimony are you praying are you praying are you praying she branda katuska te preteke di balakusia father in the name of jesus visit your people please believe it this is not just some church ritual we are doing god answers prayers shaparus kati brandaga borushikati
agree with me as I pray when I say in Jesus name I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice are you ready in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever you will see them no more forever hear me every spirit that is back of the challenges here written we command their final exodus from your life every human agent who must be in partnership with the holy spirit to grant answers to this request we compel their ministry right now for those trusting god for open doors may doors be opened by this prayer let shame and reproach come to an end hear me anybody holding what is yours by the power that raised christ from the dead we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until you become the rightful possessor of that blessing please believe in this prayer you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you after this conference every garment of shame and reproach in the name of jesus we tear off that garment right now prophetically i stand upon this prayer request everything that has stood upon your life to cause you stress i bring it under the feet of jesus i bring it under the feet of jesus whatever has delayed your destiny helper from reaching you men and women ordained of god to hold your hands and help you wherever they are across Gombe, in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i command them to appear now hallelujah please listen carefully i pray especially for the young men in this city the spirit that stops young men from being established that people just continue to grow old and they are still staying in their parents homes in the name of jesus christ i release upon you the grace for structural establishment <laughs> hallelujah you see i want you to pay attention we're wrapping up there is a spirit that has played the northeast and the middle belt from drunkenness to irresponsibility to complacency and mediocrity these are wicked spirits that sabotage the glorious destinies of people people can be abroad for 30 years and return back as if they've never crossed out of a city in the name of jesus everyone under the trap and the influence of that spirit i command be free from it now be free from it now i arrest the spirit of death that keeps killing people in families i decree and declare everyone will live the fullness of their days
Hallelujah. For the election that is coming, may God give you leaders in this city that will help to sponsor development in the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone who means well for the name of the Lord and for the welfare of the people, may God give them a chance to rise. And anybody who will cause pain to God's people and cause pain to the work of the cross I stand by the apostolic anointing and I declare that anyone that is not for God and for the well-being of people in this land will never remain up again in the name of Jesus I'm not a politician I don't do politics but every time I get to talk to politicians I tell them let's be governed by the fear of the Lord Let's be governed by conscience and let's be governed by a sense of posterity. There are people who have a sincere desire to help and bless. We pray that God will lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I rebuke the spirit of poverty? Don't say it doesn't matter. That is already an attack. If you think it does not matter, it's an attack on your life. In the name of Jesus God who is able to show men mercy and give them the wisdom and the grace to be productive alongside the favor to prosper in the name of Jesus may that God visit you now let's pray for the church in Gombe by the church in Gombe I mean every man of God and every assembly that names the name of Christ listen very carefully remember my opening statement if pastor A wins and pastor B loses the church lost it is only when pastor A and pastor B together are effectively lifting up the name of Jesus can I tell you this thank God for the leaders and the fathers of faith that are here never become a tool for the division of the body of Christ we may differ here and there based on our convictions we may not agree here and there but provided we agree that Jesus is Lord the Savior and the soon coming King is enough point of unity are we together now the truth is that as far as ministry is concerned we differ in our levels of graces and the various levels of our interest in the things of God which ultimately culminates to the variety of anointings and graces that work in our lives but can I tell you if you are a great man and God has helped you and you are seeing results do not downplay anyone even if all you have is two members the price of every one member is the blood of Jesus hallelujah that the spirit of competition competitive jealousy i am better than this i'm anointed we banish it from this city and let me speak to us respectfully because sometimes it's members that cause trouble to men of god when you begin to sing praises and say saul killed one thousand and david killed ten thousand you will cause trouble between saul and david we may not all do the same thing at the same level but every single one of us is serving Jesus in truth. Can I tell you? You may think that the Joshua Selmans are the ones doing ministry. It's until the day Jesus comes you will see that there was an, a nameless, faceless intercessor who prayed these people. You can clap for Jesus for doing a great work. But do not forget Anna the prophetess. Do not forget John the Baptist. And especially some of us who are younger in ministry make sure you respect the fathers don't look at them and say they don't have any revelation no anointing they have character that most of our young people don't have they have leadership they have been there for 30 40 50 years risk their life serving the lord every father of faith in this land is deserving of honor from everyone do not give honor just on the basis of revelation or crowd or membership anyone who has served the lord and served the kingdom is deserving of your honor are we together 
the father should also honor the sons because just you see generally you see the current move of God always fights the next move of God fathers too respectfully speaking must be cautious when you see young people that God is using mightily don't downplay what God is doing because if you fight them and they still succeed you will spend your life living in shame it's better to identify those that God is helping and just fine tune some of their excesses a young man may have a lot of character issues but it does not mean he's not anointed rather than throwing them away and then they go and find God by his mercy and now you will end up in shame for prophesying they will not succeed and yet they succeeded young people don't fight the fathers because someone is falling under the anointing in your meeting it takes more than falling and rising to remain there is a stamina and a skill that only Eli can teach Samuel even though Samuel will be the prophet who will ordain Saul and David he still needs Eli to know the voice of God hallelujah Bombay State walk in unity walk in unity walk in unity those who God has helped and prospered you are a big man not just by the amount of cars you have but by the amount of lives you are transforming the measure of your being big is not in acquisition it's in impact is God helping us parents be responsible over your children don't give birth to children and hand them over to government and people to take care of for you send your children to school encourage them to go to school let them see the value of education and it, it will eventually culminate to a great life and for those who may not be doing well in school don't discourage them encourage them because there is hope for a three even if it caution are we together yes encourage responsibility i'm challenging those of us who are in government put programs that help young people to be responsible all this roaming around is why crime rate will continue to increase the young people must be meaningfully engaged there must be programs that stimulate development and stimulate creativity and in truth no government can do it alone and so we pray that god will attract businessmen and attract people who have the passion to change this territory there are many people from your soil that are successful may god bring them back to come and contribute to the growth of the place it's not a foreigner that will come and build your land foreigners will only assist but god must raise indigenous people and empower them with the spirit of god let's shun laziness an entitlement mentality don't wait for the government i don't care whether it's whatever political party that one is none of my business every government demands responsibility from citizens to maximize the government no government on its own will be able to produce the best of citizens citizens must take responsibility many of you are young people here you may not have the privilege as to is on strike you can go into farming God has blessed us with good soil. Go into farming and, and be responsible. Begging around will bring to stealing and all kinds of vices that are not of God. Are we together? And for the men and the women of God, may God grant us grace to continue to do ministry with integrity. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every pulpit will be an altar, a platform for salvation for transformation for empowerment in the name of the lord jesus christ finally we pray for gombe state father we lift up this state before you you have called it a jewel in the savannah may it speak as it is called in the name of jesus i pray prophetically for gombe may strange mineral resources be discovered on your soil we are tracked by prophecy the presence of strategic investors both local and foreign to come and invest in your land in the name of jesus christ and i pray 
even for the ministers of the gospel they are the shapers of the spiritual convictions of people here may god raise help for them so that they can stand strong as they preach in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus now this is my final session i head from here to bauchi but i will not end this conference and this crusade as you may call it without giving someone a chance to come to jesus we didn't have the time to make an altar call yesterday but there are people outside multitudes of people outside some of you across the balcony i see you and some who are standing here please no movement let's stand is the last call and you are saying apostle do not end this conference without giving me an opportunity to start afresh with jesus for some of you you are saying i've been around the things of church but i have never consciously made a decision for jesus for others you are saying apostle i've given my life to jesus christ but within the last one year my life has gone haywire i need restoration and i need rededication some are outside some are inside for those outside as i make the altar call i will request that you come to the front of your projector screen if there's any or just the front of wherever you are seated and stand there for those inside here who are saying apostle give me a chance to encounter jesus afresh again before this conference ends i'm going to count one to five wherever you are you know that you need jesus i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain come and stand right in front here i begin my counting now one let's celebrate them as they come run to jesus two apostle i want to come but i'm ashamed of my friend leave them alone and come to jesus if you're coming please rush for sake of time three those outside i hope you are moving to your screens walk to jesus walk to jesus and this life is in his son and this life is in his son so he who was the son has eternal life he who was the son has eternal life i have the son so i have eternal life he who was the son look at me please all of you in front and those who are following and those who are following from your homes from wherever you may be viewing from here's your chance to make jesus lord of your life he said he must be born again have you ever wondered why god has not forgotten about your case have you ever wondered why god is still interested in your life and this is the reason because there is more there is more to what god has for you there is more to what God has for your destiny. There is more to what God has for your husband, for your wife, for your children. There is truly more to what God has in stock for your life, for all He has created you for. Don't forget, your life is not tied to what people said about you. Your life is not tied to what people have defined it to be. Your life is not tied to that geographical location that you are currently your life is not tied to what that situation has made you become there is truly more that god is telling about your life from the windows of the heavens there is a story there is a painting a picture god is designing an orchestration by the heavenlies by god himself about your life so there is more about your life don't give up on that situation because by prayer we become that that god wants us truly to become Paul rightfully speaking he said as daily as we behold in a glass we are changed into that same image don't stop beholding behold the Lord in prayer behold in waiting upon him for there is more I bring to you this message I tell you again and again 
there is more to what God is set to do in your life. Don't give up on Him. Share this video also to every weak one, to every feeble one who you believe or who you feel their life has been written off. Tell them to bounce back again because God is doing new things in their life. God bless you so much. We love you. See you in our next video and stay revived.